let's go ahead and call the October 25th uh, Missouri Public Service Commission weekly agenda meeting to order. Uh, today we have uh, seven tariffs and new orders and one closed discussion. Um, and we also need to approve the minutes from the October 19th uh, agenda. But before that, we need to present uh, uh, Commissioner Coleman with her 10-year service award uh, at the PSC. Uh, we had our uh, awards uh, uh, ceremony yesterday, and she, uh, she could not uh, uh, make that, but we wanted to recognize her for 10 years at the uh, uh, Public Service Commission, which is part of a long storied career um, in state government. Um, but combining her term uh, as a commissioner with some previous time that she had been at the uh, the commission, uh, she hit the 10 year mark. And I think Commissioner Kochmeyer has a, uh, a little plaque for her and, 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 and a little something. And uh, we just wanted to say thank you for a decade of service at the PSC. Isn't that yeah. nice? Thank you all. Congrats, Commissioner. See, as I mentioned, time goes so fast. <laughs> so I don't think Commissioner uh, um, Khan, Khan is aware, but back in the 80s, I used to work here. I was a peon in the transportation department, dealing with all kinds of trucking related issues and had a great time here. Uh, and I was here from 80, late 81 to sometime in 84. Um, and now I'm back. So thank you all. It has the word um, certificate of mat maturious. Meritorious. No, it's not meritorious. 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 I can't say that word. Mm -hmm. um, but I appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Um, Lord must have had something to do with this. So thank you all very much. It's an honor to be here at the Missouri Public Service Commission the second time around. Thank you. Well, and we all pitched in to hire an armed guard to keep kids away from your house on Halloween. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Well, she, they know I'm too stupid to have Halloween now. <laughs> well, congrats. Uh, all right. So uh, uh, now we need to approve the minutes from the October 19th, uh, 2023 agenda. Um, those have been distributed in advance. Uh, are there any questions, concerns, or changes that need to be made to those notes? All right, then all those in favor of approving those minutes from the October 19th agenda, please say aye. 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 Those are approved five to zero. All right, like I said, we have seven tariffs and new orders today. So diving right in, first one is in file number WR 2023-0006. This is in the matter of the Confluence Rivers Utility Operating Company and their request for authority to implement a general rate increase for their water sewer and uh, provided in Missouri service areas. So on December 21st of 2022, Confluence Rivers proposed tariffs to produce approximately 1.2 million in additional revenue, water revenues, and 26 water service areas, and approximately $1.8 million in additional annual sewer revenues for 39 sewer areas. A series of uh, six local public hearings were held uh, between June 12th and June 26th of this year, and then we had the evidentiary hearing, which was in on August of this year as well. The parties did reach evidentiary, <clears throat> the parties reached an agreement on a number of the issues and submitted a unanimous partial stipulation and agreement as well as an unopposed non-unanimous partial stipulation and agreement. And after the commission approved both of those agreements, six issues were presented by the parties remaining for us to decide. The report, this report and order addresses those six remaining issues based off of our case discussion. The six remaining issues were income taxes, acquisition costs, timesheets, cost of capital, advanced meter infrastructure, dis and disallowance based on third-party contract operators. The decisions on those issues contained in this order are consistent with our case discussion of those issues from the previous agenda meeting in this case, and the decisions are supported by the competent and substantial evidence in the record. And to allow Confluence Rivers the opportunity to implement the approved rates beginning closest to the calculated operation of law date, which we believe is November uh, 20th, the commission finds it's reasonable to make this order effective on November 4th. And uh, I would recommend that we approve this order version number three. Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. Commissioner Holzman. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, I thought this was a, a very robust hearing and I appreciate everybody's effort to present all the information. Uh, and uh, I'm glad the way the order turned out and I approve the order. Thank you. Great. Commissioner Kochmeyer. I'm in support of the order. Great. Commissioner Hahn. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, this is my first full rate case uh, proceeding from public hearings to the evidentiary hearing to the order. And I I really enjoy the discussion amongst us as commissioners to come up with this order and uh, appreciate really most of our positions are fairly close together anyway. Um, so that was, um, you know, some, I, I'm not, I, I'm new to this, so I'm still kind of understanding how far, you know, on certain issues, but it seems like we all really agreed on this particular order. So I'm, I'm excited to be in support today. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Great. Thank you, commissioners. Then uh, we'll make the motion. We go ahead and approve that order, version number three. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 And that is approved by a vote of five to zero. Next up is file number GS 2024 0137. This is the matter of the investigation into Spire, Missouri, concerning a natural gas incident in Holt, Missouri. So, back on October 16th, the commission staff filed a motion asking the commission to open a file regarding a natural gas incident that occurred on October 5th in Holt, Missouri. Staff of the commission uh, uh, to open investigation to uh, an investigative file to receive its report regarding the investigation into the adequacy and adherence to procedures used on this project. This order grants staff's motion in order to facilitate the investigation, receive a report from staff, and receive responses to staff's report. This order directs staff to file an investigation report or a status report indicating when it expects to file an investigative report no later than March 29th. And uh, I would recommend we approve this order version number one. Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. And Commissioner Holzman. I'm in support of the order. And Commissioner Kochmeyer. I'm in support. And Commissioner Hahn. Also in support. Great. All those in favor of approving that order, version number one, please say aye. 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 That is approved by a vote of five to zero. Next up is file number EO 2018-0211. This is the matter of Union and Electric uh, uh, Company, DBA, Ameren, Missouri's third filing to implement regulatory changes in furtherance of energy efficiency as allowed by MIA. On October 5th, Ameren, Missouri filed additional revisions to its technical resource manual and deemed savings table. Ameren, Missouri requested that the commission approve its changes as close to November 1st as practical so that the changes can go into effect at the beginning of the next program year on January 1st. Amber Missouri reports that the staff of the commission had no concerns with the changes. The commission directed any responses to, uh, to the request to be filed no later than October 16th and no responses were received. So this order approves the revisions filed on October 5th to become effective on January 1st. Additionally, the order grants the motion for expedited treatment and makes this order effective in less than 30 days. And I would recommend that we approve this order version number one. Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. Commissioner Holzman. I'm in support of the order. Great. Commissioner Kochmeyer. I support the order. And Commissioner Hahn. Also in support. Great. All those in favor of supporting that order, version number one, please say aye. 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 That is approved by a vote of five to zero. Next up is in file number EO 2024-0042. This is in the matter of the determination of special contemporary resource planning issues to be addressed by Amherst, Missouri in its next triennial compliance filing or next annual update report. So a provision in the commission's electric uh, utility resource planning rule requires that Missouri's regulated utilities and electric utilities to consider and analyze special contemporary issues in their integrated resource plan or their IRP in their triennial compliance filings or in their annual IRP update reports. The Office of Public Council and Sierra Club filed suggestive special contemporary issues for AMRA Missouri to analyze and respond in, to in its next IRB, IRP filing and AMRA Missouri filed responses to those suggestions. This order will adopt a list of special contemporary issues set forth in this order, which is consistent with the commission's case discussion during last week's agenda. The commission has chosen these issues because they are of particular interest and importance and should be addressed in Amherst, Missouri's next IRP filing. 
and I recommend that we approve that order, version number three. Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. Commissioner Holzman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just will say these for all of the, the next three orders. I appreciate you working with me and the other commissioners and staff working with me on getting the uh, VPP and the battery storage language in there. I think it's important and uh, I appreciate it. So with that, I'll support the order. Great, thank you. Commissioner Kolkmeyer. I'm in support. And Commissioner Hahn. Also in support. Great. Uh, all those in favor of supporting that order, version number three, please say aye. 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 That is approved by a vote of five to zero. Next up is file number EO 2024-0043 and EO 2024-0044. This is the matter of determination of special contemporary resource planning issues to be addressed by Evergy, Missouri uh, in its next triennial compliance filing or next annual update report. Uh, so this is very similar to the previous order, except uh, for different electric utility. And as in the previous order, OPC Sierra Club, Council for New Energy Economics, and the City of Kansas City, Missouri filed suggested so special contemporary issues for Evergy to analyze and respond to in its next IRP filing, and Evergy filed its responses to those suggestions. So this order will adopt the list of special contemporary issues set forth in this order, which was consistent with our case discussion from last week's agenda. And the commission again has chosen these issues because we believe they are of particular interest and importance and should be addressed in Evergy's next IRP filing. And I would uh, recommend we approve this order, version number two. Uh, Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. <laughs> Commissioner Holzman. I'm in support of the order. And Commissioner Kolkmeyer. I'm in support of the order. And Commissioner Hahn. Also in support. Great. All those in favor of supporting that order, version number two, please say aye. 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 And that is approved by a vote of five to zero. <clears throat> Next up is EO 2024-0045. This is in the matter of the determination of special contemporary resource planning issues to be addressed by the Empire District <clears throat> Electric Company, DBA Liberty, in its next triennial compliance filing or annual update report. Again, similar to the uh, previous two orders, uh, except this is for Liberty. Uh, OPC filed suggestive uh, uh, special contemporary issues um, and uh, the, the company responded. And again, this uh, order does adopt the list of special contemporary issues that are set forth in the order, which are consistent with our commission's uh, discussion from last week's case agenda. And again, we have chosen these because of their particular interest, and we believe they should be addressed uh, in Liberty's next IRP filing. And I would recommend we approve that order, version number two. Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. Commissioner Holzman. I support the order. And Commissioner Kolkmeyer. I support the order. And Commissioner Hahn. Also in support. Great. All those in favor of supporting that order, version number two, please say aye. 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 That is approved by a vote of five to zero. And our uh, seventh file uh, uh, today is number EO 2023 0358, the matter of the 2022 RES compliance report and 2023 RES compliance plan of the Empire District Electric Company. DBA Liberty. So back on April 14th, Liberty filed its 2022 Renewable Energy Standard Compliance Report and its 2023 Annual RES Standard Compliance Plan. Uh, an application to intervene by the Missouri Department of Natural Resources uh, Division of Energy was received and granted. Liberty filed three revised RES reports and two revised RES plans to address the concerns of staff and OPC. Then on September 26, OPC filed a response reiterating its prior concerns. OPC also alleged that the new language added was confusing and that it altered the values of certain, RE, uh, certain RECs without uh, explanation. OPC requested the commission address its concerns for the current and the future RES filings. Staff did not file any further comments and no other responses were received. So the commission's rule does not identify a required action uh, by the commission uh, that the commission is to really take regarding Liberty's revised RES report and plan and any alleged deficiencies in either, except to allow the commission to direct the utility to provide additional information or to address any concern or deficiencies identified in the comments. So consequently, uh, no further action by the commission is required and this order will close the file. 
and I recommend we approve this order version number two. Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. And Commissioner Holzman. I support the order. And Commissioner Kochmeyer. I'm in support. And Commissioner Hahn. Also in support. Great. All those in favor of supporting that order, please say uh, version number two, please say aye. 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 And that is approved by a vote of five to zero. So that uh, is all of the case orders. There's no case discussion. We do have a closed session uh, we need to go into, but first we should do our scheduling. And then upon scheduling, we will go into closed section under section 610.021, subsection 12 of RSMO statutes. Um, so going into scheduling here, uh, today, we are having a hearing of which we are on break from and will resume upon the conclusion of our uh, closed session or 11, 11 o'clock, I think is what the, the judge had stated. That is in uh, the case WO 2024-0036. That is in the matter of the petition for an interim receiver and for an order directing general counsel to petition the circuit court for the appointment of a receiver for Misty Waterworks. That is uh, in room 310 and is uh, going on uh, upon adjournment of, of agenda or 11 o'clock. And uh, Wednesday, November 1st, uh, we have agenda at 10.15 a.m. And on Wednesday, November 8th, we have agenda at 10.15 a.m. We also have an evidentiary hearing in WC 2023-0273, that is Neelan versus Missouri American Water Company. And that will be at 9 a.m. in room 310 Commission Headquarters uh, in Jefferson City. We have our National Association annual meetings. Those are running from the 12th through the 15th. And then on Thursday, November 16th, we have agenda at 10.15 a.m. We also have an evidentiary hearing that day in case WR-2023-0344. That is in the matter of the application of a rate increase of Raytown Water Company. And that will be beginning at 10 a.m. in uh, room 310 Commission Headquarters in Jefferson City, Missouri on Thursday, November 16th. And then on November uh, 22nd, we have agenda at 10.15 a.m. Commissioners, is there any uh, questions or concerns or changes you need to be made to, to the scheduling? Mr. Chairman, I just want to add uh, one note that as a part of the uh, uh, responsibilities for the chairman of the International Relations Committee, the Missouri Public Service Commission is hosting a delegation from Central Asia on November 6th and 7th. And just wanted to thank everyone who had and will have a role in uh, playing host and uh, sharing the important education and information that we can share with uh, those folks uh, in that part of the world. So I just wanted to uh, point that out and thank everyone for making that possible. Well, especially, hey, we... my, especially my staff, Christy Manning, <laughs> who has worked overtime trying to get uh, that agenda together for that visit. So thank you, Christy. Well, and hey, and, and kudos to you because we haven't been visited by uh, any uh, um, international delegations until you became uh, a chair of the international uh, committee. So uh, I think that's uh, that's great for Missouri to get that exposure and insight. And even after yesterday's uh, uh, um, employee uh, recognition event and the public speaker was talking about different viewpoints and different uh, cultures and different uh, perspectives, I think we're going to gain a, a, a really interesting perspective uh, from the Asian delegation on the on how they face the issues uh, that we deal with here in, in, in the US. So looking forward to that. Thank you for, for mentioning that commissioner. So uh, if, that, if that is all, then uh, I'll make the motion that we go uh, into closed session under section 610.021 uh, subsection 12, uh, and then we will adjourn the agenda meeting upon conclusion of that. So. Uh, all those in favor of uh, going into closed session, please say aye. 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 All right. We will adjourn the meeting upon the uh, conclusion of our closed session. And we'll give them time to clear the uh, the web webcast. Yep. Chairman, I'll go confirm that. Thank you. So you are. I'll continue. Commissioner Hahn, what, what, what type of candy are you handing out? Oh, we, we're one of those neighborhoods that has like 400 trick or treaters. So like I went and got the big bags at Gerbs last week. Uh, so right now I think we have like, you know, eight or 900 pieces of candy. <laughs> uh, 
chocolate. It's chocolate. So if you're a chocolate person, come to your house. Come on. Mm -hmm. We're ready. Oh my yeah. gosh. Let's do they do they bring them around and like do they get like a, a, a tractor or something and pull kids on a trailer just because there's so many houses and 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 sometimes we would